In this video, I will show you how to change the email address of your Xbox account. If this video does help you out today, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more step-by-step -step tutorials. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a new browser. So I'll be showing you how to do this on a laptop. But if you are using a mobile device, the steps can be done still. All you want to do is open up a mobile browser and follow along. And once you've opened up your browser, you want to come across to xbox.com. So this is going to take you across to the Xbox website. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is sign into your account. So if you actually come to the top right hand corner and go and click on this little sign in button up here. And what that's going to do is sign you into your Xbox account. So what you're going to want to do is input your Microsoft account because that is actually the same as your Xbox account. And once you've done that, you'll be taken back to the main page uh, for the Xbox website. And you'll see I'm now actually logged into my account. And so you can see my profile avatar up in the top right hand corner. Um, so what we're going to do from here is actually click onto our avatar in the top right hand corner. And then what we want to do is click onto my Microsoft account. As I say, your Microsoft account and Xbox does use the same email address. So you just need to come here so you can go ahead and get that all changed. So this is going to take you across to the Microsoft account page. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is just click on to, if you look at the top, you've got this blue bar with a um, with some different options. And what you want to do is just go ahead and click on to your info. So this will take you across to a page which looks similar to this. Um, and then you're just going to scroll down until you get to the account info section, uh, which is this box here. And you'll see I've got my current email address there. So to actually change this, what you're going to want to do is click on to edit account info. And then again, what they might do is just ask you to verify your identity just because obviously you're changing um, sensitive information. So it's just a quick security check. They might send you a text message or a email uh, dependent on how you choose to verify. I've just got that now. I'm just going to go ahead and enter that in. And what's going to happen, you're going to be taken to a page which looks like this. So it says manage how you sign into Microsoft. Um, and if you look at the top, it says that basically uh, your account alias is an email address or phone number that you use to sign into your Microsoft account. You can have multiple aliases and use any of them with Microsoft services, such as Outlook, Skype, OneDrive, Office, Xbox, Windows, and more. So this actual information you can use to log into a number of different Microsoft services. As I say, it is used across the board for things like Xbox and Skype and your Outlook. Um, so all you want to do is come down to this section where it says account alias and you can see my primary email address is there. And what you can do is add uh, an email address. So you can actually add multiple emails and you can use any of those emails to log into your account. And what you can do once you've added that is actually um, delete your existing email address, but you do need to add um, a new one just before you can delete the original email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that like so and then you click add alias down here and you'll see that's added that as I say you can add multiple and once you've added those you can uh, basically use any of those to log in and then what you want to do is make you want to click to make it your primary email address and once that's done you'll be able to remove the original email address um, and yeah, with that being said, that's the end of today's tutorial. So I hope that helped you out. And if that did help you out, then please do drop a like and comment below saying this helped you out. Um, as I say, I really do appreciate it. And it does help the video get out to more people. 
and with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.